Hey there everybody, it's Ira, and I'm here with another indie game. I don't want to call this one new necessarily, it is an early access, so on, on, on from, from one point of view, it's it's more than new, it's not even done yet. From another point of view, uh, it's been out for a little while in early access. I've actually been holding on to this one for almost a year? I, I, I've had it for a while, um, when I got this one as the review copy, it was in, much earlier in early access. And uh, I, I did kind of pop in and play around with it, and honestly, it just felt like it was kind of, like, really kind of bare bones. And uh, I felt like it had a long way to go, and I, I didn't want to kind of put a mediocre review out there when it was still that early in development. So I kind of put it, put it back on the shelf for a little while, and uh, it's been a while, and I have noticed, I, I've kept it installed all this time, because it's not a very large file at all, and I have noticed consistent updates for this over the past year. And as you can see, they've got some holiday-themed stuff, because we've, we've just gotten past the holiday season. Um, and it seems like they are really, really updating this a lot, and it's come a long way in that year. Now, I haven't jumped in yet and started playing it again. Uh, so this is sort of a blind first look, but I also kind of have very vague memories of it from before. So let's, uh, let's, uh, let's load up a new shop here. So we've got... Difficulty levels. I am using a gamepad, by the way. It says it has a limited controller support, not full controller support, but it seems to be working pretty well. It recognized my controller right away. As soon as I hit a button, it switched all of the prompts on the screen to controller, which I love to see. So that's points right there. Uh, I'm gonna go on on normal, I suppose. We'll see how how this how this goes. I do have a mouse cursor in the middle of the screen that I can't move. I'm gonna just grab my mouse and move that. Dear daughter, this property has been in the family for generations, and now it is yours. It would make us proud if you could do what we could not, and that is to clear our family name of debt and return the Koopman name to its former glory. The idea is simple. Sell things for more than you bought them. Then expand and decorate to appeal to more customers. Good luck. We are counting on you. Max Koopman. A little sad I didn't get to choose my name, but I suppose it's probably not that important. I guess I'm a Koopman. Would I like an explanation? I would indeed, because I do not know what I'm doing. Okay, so this is my little shop. And we've got a little tutorial, left stick to walk, I did it, right stick to rotate camera, pretty standard. Now I will say, you can't uh, tilt the camera up and down, you can only rotate it. And I remember this being something that I, I didn't love when I tried this before, it looks like that's still the same. Uh, also the walls will move out of the way if you walk towards them, but if you're not standing right next to them, it seems like uh, the walls stay up all the way. I would like an option to kind of just take the walls all the way down, but um... Anyway, we, we're just getting started here. So, in the top right there, I've got my two, my two objectives. Pay 50 coin of your debt in four days. Build a counter using the buy menu. So, presumably that's in this managed shop. Why? Okay. Alright, this is one of these hold, hold the uh, stick. And then click. So, we've got shop builder overview. Well, it says buy menu. So, let's, let's follow instructions for now. And there's the counter. I guess I can do that. How much money do I have? 200, bottom right, okay, got it. Uh, so this is, I think this is partly a sort of a shop simulator and partly like a little bit of a building thing. Like you, you kind of build your shop and make it all, all, all pretty how you want it. I'm gonna stick this counter. I do wish that I could lock it to a grid actually, but it's not that important. There we go, I placed a, I did it. I placed a counter. Now place three tables with items displayed. Okay, it was Y. Buy three tables. One. I gotta buy them one at a time. All right. Uh, we'll do. We'll do a one. Hold on. I don't. I don't have anything to place. Do I? Oh, I do. Okay. I can sell wood, nails, apples, clothes. It looks like, or nothing. Well, I don't know what people want. I have been reading that they, they've added a lot of kind of specialization to this game. Let's sell some wood. How do I, uh... Oh, I gotta hold it down. Oh, it's already there. Okay. B to get out, I guess. I'll place two more tables. I'm doing it. Table. And another table. How about right here? Now it says I can't place it there because my person is there, but you know my person could just move out of the way. I'm just saying. Okay, so now I need to. It doesn't show the prompts. I kind of wish it would keep showing the prompts. Although, okay, at the bottom left of the screen, it does actually have 
All right, so I've got wood on the other one. Let's put some. Let's put some clothes on this one. I'm a little bit confused as to how this is. It there, I guess it is. Okay. Controls are a little bit unintuitive, I would say. Oh, value. Oh, there's a little thing that pops up. I didn't even see that before. I was looking. It was going too fast. Looks like these are extra valuable. So let's do that. There we did it. Open the store at the front door. Do we have like a time of day? Just, you just have day one spring. We've got crickets. I feel like it must be the middle of the night. Shop name. Uh, crossed keys. Yeah, we'll just leave it as that. A to accept. Oh, okay. So the day starts when I open the door. I got it. I don't- I'm not- I'm not loving the controls, I'll be honest. Buy items from a trader at the counter. Is that what's going on? I'm confused! Did somebody buy my wood? Somebody's asking for wood? People are asking for wood. That person's asking for wood. This is, uh, moving faster than I expected. Trader. Okay, I need to buy- I think I need wood. People keep coming in asking for wood. Let's take five of wood. Wait, wait, I, <laughs> I wasn't done. Oh man. Um, oh, it's gone. Pause. Slow, slow down the time. Um, people are running out, in and out. Expand by two tiles with the shop builder. Okay, I need to, no, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, definitely not loving the gamepad controls. So we'll do, we'll do a day with the gamepad controls and then maybe I'll switch to mouse and keyboard and see if it's any better. Place a pallet to increase your stock limit. Okay. Um, at one point, does does the shop close automatically? Okay, it does. All right. Whew, that was, that was more intense than I thought it was gonna be. All right, expand by two tiles with the shop builder. That was on this Y menu, right? Yeah, shop builder. How much is this gonna cost? Oh, it's just, it's literally tiles. Okay. How do I decide whether I'm doing floor or wall? Ah. Okay. I guess we'll, we'll put we'll put the tiles here. One, two. I did it. Completed my quest. How do I get out of this? There does not appear to be a way out of this with the gamepad. Oh, oh dear. I'm pushing the B button. That's usually it. What about the X button? No, X button's not doing it. Why? Ah, okay. Apply changes. Who oh boy. Who oh boy. The controls are unintuitive. <laughs> Use the counter to order and receive a delivery. Place a pallet to increase your stock limit. I've got 46 of money. I don't have to do these right away, right? Okay. Um, oh, there's all these numbers. I'm not good with numbers, but that's just me personally. That's that's not an issue with the game. Um, I have been I have been looking at some of the recent updates, and it seems they're... Uh, I think I started saying this, and then I got distracted. Uh, it seems like they are trying to make the game more about specialization. So you can unlock recipes and you can make all different types of items and you could specialize, for example, to be a bakery or something. And then the people who come into your shop will get used to what items you have and they'll ask specifically for those items rather than just asking for random items, which is cool. I like that. However, I am feeling a little bit lost at the moment as a new player. Um, close that. What happened today? <laughs> What happened today? We, we we sold some wood, we sold a nails, and we sold a shirt, I think? We have these apples. But nobody... It says minus 40. And I don't... I don't know what that means. It's, it's in red text. Uh, colorblind players will probably not be able to tell whether it's in red or green text. It is in red text. It's got the minus on it. Uh, minus 40%, but why and what does that mean, though? Sell the wood, I can sell the clothes. Clothes sell for 11. You sell for 7? It says... I don't understand what all of the what all the math is. A lot of people ask for wood. I'm gonna put wood on that table. <laughs> I'm gonna stick an apple on this table. And it says I should make an order. What am I low on? I don't have any more nails. 
Let's order a nails. It says plus 43% in red. Okay, so I guess the plus and minus is just in red. Um, and I don't know if that's good or bad. Does that mean it's more expensive for me? Or does that mean that it'll sell for more? Hmm. Stock capacity 7 of 15. Yeah, I don't need to, I don't need to increase my capacity yet, I don't think. Let's make, let's just get a couple of those. Um, maybe one more of those. Order. A to order. Alright, now I am going to put down the gamepad. And I'm going to switch to mouse and keyboard. And let's see if the controls are any better. Of course, now I have to figure out the controls. Which uh, I didn't get the... Okay, so we've got WASD to, to walk. And we've got uh, Q and E to rotate. Which does make more sense for not being able to tilt the camera up and down. But I still would prefer to be able to tilt the camera up and down. Uh, tab for options, shift to walk. I ha oh, I have it set on... I, I didn't show you folks the, the settings. Let's look at the settings. Uh, we always want to look at the settings. We want to see what kind of options we have. And I have to say, the settings look pretty good to me. Uh, we don't have a colorblind mode, but I don't know if that's actually necessary after all. So it seems like uh, red and green are not going to be important. That's the most common type of colorblindness. We've got the usual kind of things here. We do have... Um, in the bottom of the screen there, it explains what all these do, which is nice. Camera sensitivity can be changed. Oh, we do have snap position. Okay, cool. That's good. I like that. Uh, yeah, I like that. Uh, I, I turned on always run because I don't see any point to not run if I don't have an energy bar or something. Click to move. No, I don't want to do that. Audio. We've got, we've, we've got the sounds. Uh, controls. Can we change them? It does not appear that we can change them. It'll list them for us, but I don't see a way to adjust the controls. Uh, that is a shame. I think the remappable controls are really important. Um, they do have multiple options for some of these, so I guess if you're left-handed, you can use the arrow keys instead of WASD, but still, rebindable controls would be nice. On the other hand, this is a small indie game. I want to give them a little bit of a break, and um, I guess that's that's all for the, the options there. Okay, I got my shop. I placed an order. I put things on the tables. I guess let's open the shop again. I guess that starts the next day. Let's just do it. Let's see how it goes. Let's pay attention to all the people who run, who race, who sprint in and out of my shop. And I hate that the walls are in the way. It drives me nuts. Option to, uh... Click? Yeah. Figured it out. Escape? Super. Uh, option two, just put the walls down, would be greatly appreciated. I would, I would definitely prefer to be able to just put the walls down. You want a shirt? You take a shirt. Also, to have, like, an auto restock option, maybe, would be nice. Um, buy another shirt. Oh, wait, this is paused while I'm doing this. Okay, I don't have to run around like crazy. I get a little, I get a little breather here. See, okay, now this is red and green. This is red and green, but it does have plus and minus at least, so... Hopefully, hopefully that at least is readable for colorblind players, even if it isn't as convenient. Um, and again, if it's in green, I'm guessing it's good. I guess this is cheaper to buy now. So let's buy some more apples and some more wood. And then this will be more expensive, so maybe I don't want to buy it. I'm guessing. That's why I'm doing that with my voice. Let's just say, let's just say buy. Okay, what do you want? They come in and they, they take a thing or they ask for a thing, it seems. I don't like that I have to manually restock... Oh, you want an apple. Here you go, take your apple, lady. That's yours. Lisa? Lisa? I don't know how you pronounce your name. That's your business. Can I go outside? I can't. I'm trapped in the shop. I live in the shop all alone. Is this, is this it? Do we have no more customers today? Are we closing up for the evening? It looks like that. that's probably the case. I, I guess there's not really anything I can do while I'm waiting, right? Just kind of stand here. All right, shop saved. Oh, we have an auto save at the end of each day. That's good. Okay, uh, well, my quest is to place a pallet. Tab? Tab is the one. Overview. Can I afford a pallet? I cannot. I do not have enough money for that. I need to sell some more things first. Uh, I don't have a lot of stock on the nails. Can I... Ugh. Seems like they're still expensive, I guess. What do they normally cost? Seven. More expensive because of icons that have not been explained to me. 
plus 14% because of flowers, and plus 29% because of that uh, silver sphere right there. Or maybe it's a maybe it's just a circle. I'm not sure, but that makes it more expensive for me. Okay. So the profit is gonna be only two when I sell these. Well, shucks. I guess I'll. I mean, I'll keep stocking them, right? I guess I'll keep stocking them. Let's just open the shop back up. I don't see any reason to wait. I need to get a hundred of coins. Cornel Cornelis. Cornelis. Friend. Friendo. You want a shirt? I have good news for you, buddy. Oh, what? Something happened. Okay, unlock. What's... Crafting station. You can now unlock a crafting station? Okay, I, 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 did I do a level up, maybe? It says level two. I guess I leveled up? Am I supposed to buy something? Can I move this? I can't. I can't see the quest. What does the quest want me to do? I don't know what it wants me to do. So I can unlock something. Some things have been unlocked. I don't care about what my shop looks like, I'm gonna be honest. If you care what your shop looks like, apparently there's a lot of customization options. Options. Not options. Options is what I meant to say. Uh, crafting tools and weapons, crafting clothing, meals, growing crops. I, I do love me a good crop growing. Let's, let's, get, let's unlock the plant. Okay, we unlocked the planter. We did it. I guess this is like the specialization they were talking about. Use a crafting station. I don't have enough money for this. I'm not ready. Teta, what would you like? What are you here for? You were here for nails. That was convenient. And and some wood. There you go. L Lisa, Lisa, what do we got for me? You've got good prices. Is what you got? I think. This trader's got the deals. Look at this profit margins. Eight, not two, but eight. Those are good profit margins. Uh, let's take, and that's my capacity. You know what? I don't need that wood, probably. Uh, but I might. I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna need. Burnt. You want an apple. I can give you that. We have apples in supply. I need, uh, to sell a lot more things. I don't have enough money. Thome wants a shirt. Well, that's good. Shirts are expensive, I think. Here, take it. Take the shirt. I'm glad you're happy means a lot to me. Is that it? I guess that's it. When the shadows start moving, the day is over. Oh, oh! Oh, they just throw their coins on the, on the dang floor! What'd they do that for? They should hand them to me. How do I know you didn't shoplift? You gotta hand me the coins. <laughs> it's gracious. So we have bad prices here if we order... If we order overnight. Seems to be. I can buy seeds and stuff, but I need to... I need to I need to buy a pallet. And that means I need more money. So I'm opening the shop again immediately. Debt payment. Uh-oh. 50. Pay now or the end of Yeah, I guess pay now. If my debt is due. Man, I'm not doing great with profits, am I? I don't know what I need to do. I mean, I'm- I'm sell every person who comes in here buys something. For sure. I'm not missing anything that people want. I always have something that they want. They always leave happy. I'm trying to get the good prices. I don't know how to make any more money than I'm making. Trader, what's up? Um, I am short. Probably, is it because I keep buying things? But I have to keep my stock up. It's important to keep your stock stocked. People come in here to buy stuff and you have nothing, then you go bankrupt and, you, and then the game is over, presumably. Or maybe a loan shark comes in? I don't know. I don't know what the story is. Tino. What's up there? Buddy, what'd you come in here for? You came for apples. That worked out well. I also have the wood that you wanted. I'm unlocking stuff. I'm unlocking stuff, but I don't have the money to buy it. Well, I'm level four. How come I'm level four and I still can't increase... I, I can't place a pallet to increase my, my stock limit? I don't feel like I need the long evening if no one's coming in here. Is there any more coins on the floor that someone just chucked on the floor? No, okay. Not this time. I wouldn't know because the walls are always in the way. This interface isn't my favorite. Let's, um... I'm kind of low on things. Yeah, I feel like I should just get the good prices from the trader friend. The trader person. 
All right. Economic activities decreasing. Ah, oh, for... That's no good. I have debt. And a quest to place a pallet. I haven't even finished that one, and I've already got this other one. To use a crafting station. I mean, it's like, I, I see like I could make more tables or whatever, but... I don't, it doesn't seem like there's any, any use for more tables. Beatrice. It's the trader. Hey, trader. You got those good prices for me? Oh, you do? I always count on you for those good prices. Wait, wool. This is for a crafting station, right? Or can I sell it? I guess, I, yeah, I can sell it. I can sell the seeds too, I guess. No. <laughs> no, well, I mean, I can, I guess, probably, but no profit. No profit on those seeds. Buy a wood, just so that I have a couple in stock, you know. All right, let's do it. Thank you for your business. Buying stuff, appreciate that, and you want a wood. Seems like it's good to have a table empty, and you just put the thing on the table that they ask for. That's, that feels like the easiest way to play this game. If there's any disadvantage to that, then it has not been made clear to me. Shirt. On it. Let's put some wool on a table too, why not? Maybe somebody will want to buy some wool. Run around and pick up these coins. People have just carelessly thrown onto the floor. Man, I'm still... I'm still so poor. To pay 60 coin of my debt in five days from now. It's not the best. Okay, day six is over. Just bring on day seven, maybe? I can get apples for cheap, I guess. For reasons, just because of reasons. Because <laughs> of a bunch of icons that they never explained. Cool. No, that's good. Order a little bit here. I just want to make sure I have stock. For the people who come in. To my shop. Burnt. Burnt wants wood. Ira's got wood for burnt. Great. Other people want to get in here? Hey, people, I got things for sale. Good prices. Better prices than I would like them to be, if I'm perfectly honest. But apparently there's a recession, and I have no choice. Egbert. Good to see you, friend. The apples are real cheap. The wood's real cheap, that's good. Get some more of that wool. I don't want to buy that shirt. That shirt is overpriced, my friend. Let's just go with this, I guess. Some stock. Man, those quests do take up a lot of the screen, don't they? I'm, I'm trying to do, like, the third one you gave me. I still haven't got to that one yet. But we're getting close, though. Getting up there. Beatrice. I am curious what, what language this is all based in. The spellings of the names are different than I'm used to. It's not a bad thing, it's just a difference. Okay. Oh look, these icons are up here. They got little bars under them? Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Alright. Should I place a pallet to increase my stock limit? I feel like I'm... There's probably a lot more that I need to do. I also feel like I don't need to do this yet. I'm just like, uh... Find a way that I can actually see what I'm doing. And just maybe stick that in the corner. There we go. I did it. What's next? Use a crafting station. Well, I have no money. So let's open the shop. I have zero money. Well, I have two money. That was exaggerating. For effect. Nobody has bought the wool. You gonna buy the, bull the wool? You did! You bought the wool. Thank you. Wool's been for sale for ages. Nobody wanted to buy it. I unlocked more stuff. I don't have time. Too busy selling. Buying low and selling high. What do you what do you want? The quests are in the way. You want wood. Here you go. Giselle. Everything's cheap. Everything's cheap. Buy everything. And I've got this extra um Oh, I don't have any really any more money here. I've got all this extra storage space and I don't need it. What do you want? Beard, beard, These names, though. Shirt. There you go. Ooh, that's my last shirt, though. 
Adam, there's a familiar name. Cool. Restock. Is that it for- that's it, I think. Alright. Go- you can just go ahead and- or should I just click close shop? I don't know, is there any chance that someone will come in at the end of the day like this? Sure. Reach a pew level 3 by placing decoration. Will that mean I get more customers? Or customers who who will spend more or something? Survive three random events? What do you mean survive? Holy crap. Maybe I need to be being a little more careful. I need some shirts though. People expect me to have shirts and I don't have any. I feel like I'm being ripped off, but... I gotta make the customers happy. Like Teta here. Gotta make Teta happy. She's going straight for those nails, though. Straight for the nails. And she wants to see. I'm glad I ordered those shirts. There you go. Thank you for your money. Thank you for your patronage. Thank you for your business. It's not patronage, is it? It's just business. Yay! Take your money. Oh, thank goodness you're here, Mar Margrieta. Uh, you don't have any apples, so I'm just about out of apples. I was kind of hoping you might have some apples. Let's get these stocks up. There we go. You want a shirt? There you go. Rain, rain boot. Rain boat. Belia. Belia, do you want some? Uh, you don't want any nails, though? I have a deal on nails. It's called, here's the nails, pay me for them. No. Apparently not. Maybe I should decorate my place and then maybe... Maybe more people will come? That seems likely. That seems kind of logical, right? Alright, let's... Can't. Oh, I can't do that while the shop's open. Here we go. Now I can do it. Now I can do it. De decoration. I don't have that kind of money. Holy crap, how are you supposed to get so rich in this game? This game is more difficult than it appears. <laughs> it's more difficult than I would have expected for this variety of game with this graphical style and these... ...frankly unintuitive controls. And interface. Um... Let's get some apples. And another shirt, because I don't think that- I don't think I can count on that trader to bring a shirt. Let's do it. Let's do one more- oh, goodness! <gasps> Alright, end of the day. Open shop. I gotta have 60 at the end of the day. Oh, man. People, you gotta buy a lot of stuff today. My life might depend on it. Thank you. I appreciate your, your, your... Coming and spending your money here. I think I'm gonna be alright. Egbert, what do you want today, my friend? You wanted those nails that were right there. Perfect. That works. Giselle, I don't know if I should risk buying stuff from you today. Especially since you don't really have anything I don't have much of. You, you can go, buddy. Wait. Dismiss. You're dismissed. Whoops. Adam wants an apple. Adam wants two apples. Insanity. Get five people to the maximum opinion rating. Oh, there's so many quests, and they take up so much of the screen. I would prefer if they took up less of the screen. That's my preference. With the wool. I remember this wool is here. Oh, I think this is it. Okay, well, I have enough to pay my debt. Ooh, but not by a lot, though. Not a huge margin for error there. This game is harder than I thought. <laughs> Alright. Come on, now. There we go. Debt paid. Week two paid. Okay. Folks, I've been playing this for longer than it feels like, apparently. Um... So, I don't like the interface. That's my personal opinion. I don't like, uh, the way stuff takes up the whole screen. Although, I think- well, hold on, to be fair. To be fair, before I start knocking that, there is a... UI scale. Okay, I can make it smaller. So that's- alright, I guess I can't complain about that. I will- and I won't. I was gonna, but I won't. Um, I- I do still find it kind of wonky that the walls are up all the time and you have to- it makes it hard to see things. It looks pretty, like, if you're, like, an observer of the game. But playing the game, I find that that gets in the way, and I would I would prefer an option to 
take those down. Whenever I played The Sims and The Sims 2 in my younger days, I always had the walls down. I, I don't like having walls up in the way, ever. They just get in, they interfere with my perception. Um, again, that's my opinion. Uh, it seems like this game mostly has very positive reviews, though, so it seems like there's plenty of people out there who aren't bothered by that, which is fair enough, I suppose. Um, yeah. Uh, impressive options, considering it's a little indie game. Impressive update schedule. They, they do seem to be updating this all the time. And uh, I can see how if you really like building and decorating and stuff like that, it gives you... It, it does have a little bit of a Sims vibe in it, kind of. Um, and there's different game modes, so if you don't want to deal with the debt, you don't have to, or you can make it easier, or you can make it really hard. There's a lot of different gameplay styles accommodated for here, so overall, I'd say they've done a pretty good job on this. I don't know if it's for me in the end, but um, it's not certainly not a bad game. So I'll, I'll, leave, I'll leave you beautiful people to form your own opinions based off of what you've seen here and based on your personal preferences. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna maybe open the shop again. But I don't. I I need some privacy. So I'll see. If, I'll see you, folks. And remember, remember, folks. If you don't like this game and it's not your cup of tea, I'll be back soon with another new indie game, and that one might just turn out to be your new favorite game of all time. All right. No way to tell until it happens. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. I'll see you next time. Winkle, che. Win, winkle, che. Winkle, winkle, che. Vinkeltje, vink, vinkeltje, vink, vinkeltje, vink, winkel, winkeltje, vink, winkel, vinkel, winkel.